Good morning, it's uh, September 30th, 2020, and I'm here to show you how to replace a tooth on a Caterpillar Mulcher HM418C. There's 38 teeth on this baby, and uh, it's gonna take a while, but it's definitely worth it if you do it yourself. Uh, Caterpillar uh, says they use a breaker bar. I've tried using a impact wrench and doesn't even touch the torque. So, uh, to get at it, tools you're gonna need, Gonna need a breaker bar with a ratcheting head, a 30 millimeter socket, and a cheater bar that's gonna allow you to break the torque. And I bought this piece of pipe from uh, Home Depot. It's used to make chain link fences. So first of all, I got it on the one I'm gonna change out. I'm gonna put the cheater bar on there. break the torque it takes a few times going back and forth to click to get this thing broken enough so that you can use the regular cheater bar to do the rest and that should be enough so I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest After a while, you can just take the breaker bar off and just use the socket to do the rest of it. It's a lot quicker. Okay, I got the nut off. Just pop down the bolt. Here's the bolt. All you gotta do is Knock that tooth out like that. This is what it looks like. It's pretty worn. I know you can't see that. But compared to the new one, it's totally different. What I like to do is I like to spray the shaft inside of that. Spray the shank of the bolt. Grab the new tooth. Stick it back up there where it goes. Put the nut back on. They go quicker. Same thing. Just drop the tooth and just turn this socket until it tightens up like that. Switch the direction of your ratchet. Snug it up. I'm gonna put the cheater bar back on. Do the reverse. takes about a half turn to torque it. I like watching the socket. I can kind of tell where the halfway point is and where it gets real snug. And that's about it right there. Well, that's how you change a tooth on a caterpillar mulcher head. Thank you for watching.